To export your lower third and any creative work with a transparent background, it's simple and easy with DaVinci Resolve. Hey everyone, today we're diving how exporting your lower third and any creative work with a transparent background using DaVinci Resolve. Let's get started by exporting this transparent lower third using both MP4 and MOV formats. After opening the project you want to export, switch to the deliver page. First, Let's start with MP4, if you haven't already selected it. Choose MP4 from the Format section, from the Codex section, choose H.265. And enable the Export Alpha option, then enter your video name. Next, choose your preferred video dimensions from the drop-down. Then, click Add to Render Queue to add it to the Render Queue. Same with the QuickTime format. Select QuickTime from the Format drop-down. Choose H.265 from the codec options, and enable the Export Alpha option, and enter your video name, then, click Add to Render Queue to add it to the Render Queue. Next, select both items in the Render Queue, then click Render All. It will begin exporting. While waiting for the export, please hit the subscribe or follow button for more tips and tricks on DaVinci Resolve. Once the export is finished, switch back to the Edit tab and navigate to the folder where the lower third is located. If we preview the lower third, it will appear with a black background, while the second third will look the same. However, when we drag and drop it into the timeline, and then return to DaVinci Resolve, if we hide the Fusion Composition and the MP4, the lower third becomes transparent after re-importing it. If we hide the MOV format and enable the MP4, the lower third is transparent as well. However, if your lower third turns grayscale instead of matching the original fusion composition, it indicates that it did not retain the expected color information. This doesn't always happen, but if it does, don't worry, I have an alternative solution for you. Switch to the deliver page again, keep the format as quick time, then change the codec options to Apple ProRes. Next, in the type drop-down, choose Apple ProRes 4444XQ, or you can choose Apple ProRes 4444, and enable the Export Alpha option. Then, choose your preferred video dimensions from the drop-down. Next, enter your video name. Finally, click Add to Render Queue. Next, in the Render Queue, click Render to start the export process. Once the export is finished, switch back to the Edit tab and navigate to the folder where the lower third is located. If we preview the lower third, it will appear with a black background as well. And when we drag and drop it into the timeline, when we switch back to DaVinci Resolve, we can see that the video now displays the correct color after being re-imported. If we compare it with the first lower third, You can see that not similar to the fusion composition. This is how to fix your lower third if it loses color. I already have a video tutorial on my channel or account that you're watching right now, where you can learn how to export lower third or any creative work as transparent without unwanted conversions, like turning grayscale. It also covers additional methods and provides more in-depth details. Thank you for watching this tutorial on exporting with a transparent background using MP4 and MOV and DaVinci Resolve. I hope this step-by-step -step guide has helped you understand how to maintain the quality and transparency of your lower thirds and other creative work. If you found this video useful, please consider liking, commenting your thoughts or questions, and subscribing or following for more in-depth tutorials, and remember to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Until next time, happy editing!